I'm Sora Abagheri. I'm a clinical research fellow at Mass Eye and Ear at Harvard. Please tell us about your AMD research presented here at Arvo. We tested the uh, effects of ranibizumab um, in patients with neovascular AMD and found that uh, non-responders to anti-VEGF at the standard four-week interval are actually short-term responders if assessed at an early antipoid, such as at week two or three post-injection. And more than half of the patients actually showed their maximal central retinal thickness reduction at week two post-injection. What is the clinical relevance of your findings? Our trial is the first study to describe treatment response in previously considered non-responders to anti-VEGF. Our trial suggests that potentially more frequent anti-VEGF treatment in a fraction of this patient cohort of short-term responders could lead to better visual outcomes, so the clinical implications are actually significant. So if a patient isn't responding to typical anti-VEGF injection protocol, your study suggests that more frequent injections may work better for some patients. What is the evaluation process to determine how frequently and for how long anti-VEGF injections should be administered? Uh, we will have to do larger prospective studies to assess the optimal dosing interval in this patient cohort of short-term responders, and we will have to find out if this up dosing interval will change over time. So what are your next steps? Since we only conducted our study with ranibizumab, we would also like to investigate other anti-VEGF agents, such as bevacizumab and aflibercept. However, we expect uh, to find similar findings. What is your anticipated outcome for this line of research? We would like to change the perception of non-responders um, and to optimize the treatment for these patients. Are you working on any other projects in your lab that you'd like to share? So 15% of AMD patients have wet AMD, which can be treated with anti-VEGF. However, the underlying atrophic process uh, is currently not being treated, and we're working on neuroprotection to treat this underlying atrophic change. Where can someone find more information about or get involved with your research? If you're interested in learning more about our research, uh, you can contact us uh, via our website. Um, we're at Mass Eye and Ear at Harvard. In closing, is there anything you'd like to add? I would like to thank uh, Dr. George Bonsos uh, from Greece, uh, who significantly contributed to this trial. I would also like to thank my mentor, Dr. Dimitrios Vavas, as well as the American Macular Degeneration Foundation for their support.